Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing the ride or die makeup challenge. Um, no one tagged me because nobody knows who I am, but it's okay. I'm going to participate anyways, whether you asked me to or not. So let's get into this. I'm just going to go in order of the way I would have put it on my face, which I am wearing mm, all of these products on my face. All of them. All right, so we're going to jump in. So starting off, I am my ride or die um, I moisturizer is going to be the Tatcha Balance Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. I only I use this daily, even if I don't put makeup on. It refresh, clarify, and balance oily skin with this weightless moisturizer. Rich in Japanese... Japanese <laughs> wild rose to diminish the appearance of the goodness diminish the appearance of pores and 23 karat gold to provide an instant glow so I even use this on days that I do not wear makeup this along with the pharmacy um, honey mask I've been doing and the glam glow the firming mask guys my T-zone is not oily anymore. I love it. Love it. So this daily, daily, daily. Moving on to primers. I use the Makeup Forever Professional Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Mattifying Primer. Um, just for oily. I love the way this stuff feels on my skin. I don't like the professional. Um, I think it's it feels like I'm rubbing Crisco on my face. This stuff, it feels like it sinks into the skin and it just gives me the perfect canvas to put all the rest of my makeup on. So this is a must. I'm getting low. I need to go get another tube. All right, now foundation. I have an entire drawer of foundations. This one, once I thought about it for a little bit and realized what do I go to when I know I want my makeup to look perfect. And after I asked, it's kind of dirty, sorry. After I asked myself that question, I came up with the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. And I wear it in 310 Bisque. This stuff is full coverage. I would say medium to full coverage because my skin, you know, my freckles and stuff still pop through. You can see a little bit of my skin, of my actual skin, but it just gives a flawless finish. It's not a matte foundation or a dewy one. It just looks like your skin, but better. And this bottle is actually almost empty. It, I just love it. Um, it doesn't feel like you have makeup on your face. And I really look for that when I'm trying to find a new foundation. I hate, if I'm going to put this all over my face and wear it all day, I don't want it to feel heavy on my skin. And this, hands down, is my favorite go-to ride or die foundation. <sighs> Moving on to concealer. Um, mentioned last week and my favorites video is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I get it in fair and neutral. This stuff with any of my foundations I use, as I mentioned I have a whole drawer full of them, this just melds so nicely with any of the foundations, high end, drugstore, you name it, this stuff it just glides on the skin, it's not too thick, it's not really creamy, it's um, more on the liquidy side, but not water. It gives very full coverage, hides all of my dark circles, and I can't say enough about this. I absolutely love this concealer. Now to set my face. This is the second jar I have, and this comes with one ounce, but there is so much product in here. I set my under eyes with this. I set my entire face with this and it's the loose setting powder translucent from Laura Mercier. This was one of the not first high end um, products that I purchased, but one of the first high end products I purchased. And I'm so glad I did. I love the way it feels. You, you don't, it, you don't feel it. 
it doesn't make my um, high not my highlighter it doesn't make my concealer crease and it just blends in it doesn't look powdery at all on the skin I love it now on to bronzer this chocolate soleil in the medium deep from Too Faced um, hit pan on this one this was the very first not this pan but this was the very first product the high-end product I purchased from Sephora um, I'm so glad that I did it replaced the bronzer I was using from Alme cannot for the life of me remember that bronzer's name anymore because I've been using this now for a few years and I absolutely love it now with that being said I recently discovered Hoola bronzer and I did today because all of these makeup products I'm entering I do mentioning I do have on my face today um, that's how I really prepped for this video was just okay what do I reach for what do I know is going to work hands down just I don't have to think about it I put these products on and they are going to perform and so I did take the Hulu bro Hula why do I always say Hulu <sighs> Zoe and Isles, that's why. Anyways, I did pop a little bit of the Hoola bronzer on top because it is a little bit darker of a color. Um, and now with my, it's like black hair now, I needed something a little bit darker. So I did pop that on and I really like that stuff. It, not sure that it will replace it because I'm a pasty girl for life. Doesn't matter that I live in Florida. I will never be tan. Okay, so <laughs> moving on to blush. This was the easy, I think probably the easiest out of the decision out of the bunch. It is the color Amaretto um, by Becca. This is in the split pan from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill co collaboration. This is Prosecco Pop and Amaretto. I have the face palette that has Amaretto and that's where I first fell in love with the color. Um, with the first collab and then when I saw it in the split pans I had to get my hands on that one too because I know it is limited edition and I will cry when it goes away. I'm hoping maybe the blush colors will stay permanent and maybe not the highlighter. Um, now on to highlighter. I did put a little bit of the Prosecco Pop on top of my Ride or Die highlighter but this highlighter my ride or die is the Laura Mercier Highlight in 01. I absolutely love this. It's not chunky. It doesn't, it almost gives you a, now I can't open it. It almost gives you a natural feel um, or a natural look of highlighter. Really? Good gracious. I just had this thing open. Hold please. Haha, -ha, I got it. It looks almost rosy. Um but it just it's nice and soft and it comes off just this beautiful almost natural sheen to the skin now with that being said my eyes i went a little ham with today i was just having fun with a new product that i'm gonna throw in at the end it is not a ride or die but i could easily see how it could be but the highlight in 01 by laura mercier is my absolute favorite favorite y'all it's my ride or die okay hi er contour um for contour for me it took me a while to find this contour palette um, I had been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and it broke me out so bad especially along this area here and I don't know why but it took me months to figure out that that's what it was that was breaking out so I kept using it and my skin was not getting clear finally I put it down and then I picked up the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette I absolutely love this stuff now with that being said I don't really use the highlight shades just because I use a lighter concealer and set it with the Laura Mercier Every once in a while, I'll use the middle, but to do my contour, I just mix these two together. This is my second palette, so that's why it's nice and looks nice and clean. Um, but I just love it. It doesn't break me out. It looks 
but as far as contour goes, it looks natural. Um, it's really good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. Okay, moving on, we're going to, I'm just going to do the lips really quick, and then we'll jump into all the eyes, because I've got way more products for eyes than I do the lips. Lips, this was really easy for me. This is actually the color my little sister wore to her prom, and she stole my tube, and I had to go buy another one, but it is the L'Oreal 800 Fairest Nude. It is what I have on my lips today. I did throw on a little gloss over it, but it is just a very pinky nude. Oh, I love it. But you can see it there. I did top today, top it off today um, with the NARS um, Super Vixen Gloss. This is really great gloss. I wouldn't say it's my ride or die because I have a whole drawer full of glosses. But this Ferris Nude by L'Oreal, hands down, best lipstick. I don't have a ride or die liquid lip. I don't really like them. They tend to dry my lips out. Um, so I just like more hydr hydrating products. Um, this is not long wearing at all. It lives in my purse. I reapply it throughout the day. But I love the color so much that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's not long lasting. And it's a true lipstick. It's not matte. It's not glossy. It's very creamy on the lips. Love it. Moving on. My ride or die pencil, eyeliner pencil for my tight line, my waterline, is the Japanesque eyeliner in black. I had I purchased the four piece set and I use all four of them on a regular basis. This black though guys, I have never, I need to sharpen my pencil, um, I have never used something so black and creamy and it just stays in the waterline. It doesn't pull, you know, at the end of the day how some of them pull in the corners of your eyes or flake off at the end. Doesn't do any of that nonsense. It stays on all day long. It is very pigmented and to even get it off is sort of a bitch. I didn't say that. Stephanie, you didn't hear it. Okay, so moving on from there, it's still not coming off. Moving on from there, I had to include this, guys, I had to because I use it every single, I use it twice a day. It is the Benefit Brow Vow Conditioning Primer. Even on days where I just throw on the Tatcha moisturizing gel, I'll throw this on my brows and be out the door a little lip gloss. That's it. That's all you'll see on my face. So I couldn't have a brow pencil and not include this because it, it's a staple. I use it every single day, twice a day. I use it in the morning when I do my makeup and I put it on at night before I go to bed to help plump up those hairs. I have very few of them. I overplucked in the 90s. But this stuff, I love it. I'm really liking where my eyebrows are, where they have matured to. I really like it. So that stuff, ride or die. <laughs> okay, moving on to pencil. It's going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I use it in the color dark brown. I like the texture of it. It is very firm, but it doesn't tug. It still glides on seamlessly and... There's nothing bad I can say about this product. I absolutely love it. Now, mascara, I had mentioned in my favorites, the Urban Decay Perversion. <sighs> this, this stuff, it, I um, curl my lashes or I don't curl my lashes. It doesn't matter. This makes them look full and it give, provides length. I'm not too worried about length though because I do have very long lashes. I'm just um, more concerned with volume. So this provides volume for me without getting clumpy. I do not want clumpy lashes and the wand on this is a lot different than most of mine. Most of my um, mascara wands are very separated and spiky and while I use those, this is the Urban Decay Pro version is what I reach to when I know I want the product to perform. And it does. It performs hands down. Now, the hardest decision I had was eyeshadow. I am an eyeshadow junkie. Um, I have palettes out the wazoo. But <laughs> when I think 
about a palette where I can do anything with. I can do a daytime smoky eye. I can do just a very simple eye. I can do a date night smoky eye. I can do shimmers. I can do anything. It has to be the Morphe 350 palette. Now I can't get it open. Ever, all of these colors just speak to my soul. Oh my god, especially this one here. That has to be an all-time favorite. And, I mean, the palettes themselves are so ridiculously cheap that I don't know how the quality, they get this quality out of a palette. And I think it's 20 bucks, but you can always find a coupon code online. I absolutely love it. I could have done this eye look that I'm wearing right now with this. Um, all of the eyeshadow except for the lid portion is the Morphe 350. Um, and I really could have done this color here instead of what I have on the lid and created somewhat the same effect. But like I said, I was playing with some new products and I kind of like them a lot. kind of like it a lot. Now, last but not last but not least is going to be my setting spray. And I kind of have two of them. I love the Max Fix Plus. This stuff just smells amazing. And just spray it on throughout the day. It has a very cooling effect. I absolutely love it. Don't talk though right after you spray because you get it in your mouth. But what holds my makeup on is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. We all know why. I have the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, but I would much rather use the MAC setting spray and then put this on top. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of products, guys. A lot of products. Now, really quick before the end of the video, what is on the, let's see, can we focus on all that? What is on the the main star of my eye look today, just, just, to just throw this in, is the Touch in Soul Metallis, Metallistic, Metallist, Metallist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. I got it in the color Margaret. Oh, you guys. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's open the liquid end. We're going to liquid. And look, I almost don't want to do this because I don't want to waste any of this product. But you have the liquid end, and then on the other side, you have the glitter end. The glitter end is very, very messy. Let's see if we can do this. And then you just kind of stamp it on there. But that's what I have on, like I said, the main portion of my eyes today. I absolutely love it. Margaret was my grandma's name, so, and then copper. Anything copper, I'm okay with. I'm okay with not mad at it at all. I love the products. So there are all my ride or die products, guys. List below what your let's refocus. So that's all my ride or die products, guys. List below, tell them, comment below, tell me what your ride or die products are. I'm always looking for new products to buy, and that would give me an excuse to go shopping. Just kidding. Maybe. I'll meet you at Ulta. Sephora, Target, Walmart. <laughs> Bye guys, see you Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. Wonder what the palette's gonna be. Bye.